If you're an agent that's ready to start properly leveraging social media, one of the biggest questions you're gonna have is, where the heck do you start? So what I wanna do in this video is break down every single platform, where to start, what you can do to build a foundation on every single platform, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, ManyChat, in order to start building momentum on these platforms, scaling your real estate business the modern way. I'm gonna give you exact checklists. I'm gonna give you best practices, do's and don'ts. So stay tuned to the end so you understand how every platform works and you don't waste your time on one of these platforms that ironically I'm actually gonna tell you to completely ignore. What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard. Thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. If you do wanna support me, please just give me a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into the value because social media is something that allowed me to build not only my business to the multiple six figure level, but I've now helped thousands of agents do the exact same thing. If you wanna know that process that I've helped agents with, comment below and I'll send you my free masterclass, but let's break down some of the platforms that some people might not even be thinking about, including number one, Google My Business. Google My Business is something so overlooked by so many agents that it blows my mind because let's look at consumer behavior for a second. If you're gonna go look for a restaurant in your city, let's say it's a steakhouse, you're gonna Google best steakhouse in my city or top 10 restaurants in my city. And how are you going to identify which restaurant you're going to go to? You're gonna look at the one with the most popular reviews. And those reviews are coming by way of Google My Business. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you've got Google My Business properly set up and that you're attracting as many reviews as humanly possible. Even if you've just got people that really like your experience or people that haven't even worked with you yet but just think of you as a role model, get them to put in some testimonial there about who you are as a person. But over time, you want to make sure that you're accruing as many five-star reviews as possible so that when people are looking for an agent in your city, you're the one that shows up and you've got the testimonials to back it. Now let's talk about the primary social media platforms. The first one, Facebook. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna overlay the best practices of the do's and don'ts of getting your Facebook page started that you can take a peek at, rewind this if you wanna take another look at it, but there's certain things that you should be posting in order to gain traction on your Facebook page. You need to be mindful of the fact that in 2020 and going forward, Facebook page organic reach just isn't really there, but you do have to have a presence on it because people are gonna find you on there and people are going to search for you on there. So make sure that you've got an active presence posting some of the things like I'm going to show you right here so that you can maintain a presence on these platforms for when people find you. Now, in terms of advertising on Facebook, the biggest thing you want to do is avoid running a free home evaluation because that provides value to literally nobody. You want to instead be running a $10 a day minimum custom lifts of homes ad. This is great for getting started because not only has it proven across every state and every province to be the highest converting lead ad, but also also, you don't need any business to get started. So even if you're a brand new agent, it's gonna be a great way for you to start pumping out ads, generating upwards of 100 leads per week for under a dollar a lead or up to $2 a lead. And this is gonna be a great way to build your foundation. The next step of that is gonna be introducing retargeting to make sure that people always see you every single week. A lot of agents make the detrimental mistake of investing into Facebook ads, but the problem is, is they run it to a cold audience over and over and over again. The problem with that is that's like driving by a bus bench once and then your buyers or sellers wanting to make a decision six to eight, 12 months down the road, they're gonna have a hard time remembering you from that bus bench. But when you retarget for maybe $5 a day, you're able to stay in front of them on a weekly basis. So this is gonna be your best friend. And you also know that stats from an ISA will tell you that leads usually convert after the seventh touch point and retargeting stats actually show you that retargeting increases lead conversion by up to 150%. Now let's talk about Instagram. Another detrimental mistake that a lot of people see is they're saying that you have to post like 10 freaking times a day. I've even heard somebody that said, Mike, I talked to my business coach and they told me I need to post literally 10 times a day on Instagram. And then I looked up their business coach and they haven't posted more than once a week over the last year. So you've got people that are telling you to do things that they don't even do it themselves. Don't overwhelm yourself. What I recommend is that you post two to three times per week, quality over quantity in 2020 and 2021. Back in 2017 and earlier, it was a volume game. You could post daily and skyrocket your results, but the algorithms change, the platforms change. It's more important now to provide value 
and less posts but more value than just going for a volume game now i'll show you a couple things that you can do in terms of do's and don'ts on instagram and then what i'm going to overlay on the screen is some of the top posts that are really going to help you not only increase your following but actually start to attract clients at scale on Instagram. Now, YouTube is another interesting one because a lot of agents make the false assumption that you can't start a channel like we're watching right now until you've hit a certain maybe milestone or metric in your real estate business. That couldn't be further from the case. I'll overlay a testimonial here from an agent that's in my group with Connor and myself where he's generating calls on a daily basis, inbound calls from people calling him as a new agent in a new city where he didn't know anybody and he's now getting calls from his very first YouTube videos. So what I recommend as somebody that's just getting started on social media is post at least one video every two weeks. Now, if you can manage to batch your content and post on a weekly basis, that is ideal, but you're gonna wonder, what do I post about? All you need to post about is the knowledge you already have. If you've taken your real estate license, you know more than the general public. If you live in a city, which you obviously do, you know things about your city that other people are looking for. So what is the cost of living? Why should people move there? What should they know before moving there? What are the top events? What are the types of properties? What is the lifestyle like in your city? And that's gonna help attract people from out of state, out of province, as well as show your value and knowledge within the internal community of your city already and that's really going to help you start to build momentum and get calls as a brand new agent now linkedin is another one but it's a bit of a different one in the sense that i don't advise agents to start running paid ads on linkedin because it's just too expensive to get started with so what i recommend make it as easy as possible on yourself take the exact same post you were going to post on facebook cross promoted on LinkedIn and there you have it. You don't have to go down the rabbit hole of learning how to dial in LinkedIn to 100%, but do the bare minimum, optimize your bio, have a presence on there, start to network and connect with other people, post some of the posts that you're posting on Facebook and the like, but just make sure that you do have a presence because the organic reach on LinkedIn is about 10 times that of Facebook page. So while your Facebook page is more so for having a presence with your posts, and then it's a pay to play platform with your advertising, LinkedIn actually does have incredible organic reach. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is ManyChat. Now, you've heard me talk about ManyChat and I've got the top rated videos on ManyChat. If you want to check them out, click the link above and I'll show you full tutorials on it. But as a new agent that's just starting to leverage social media, I'm going to tell you something that will shock you. Tune it out, ignore it altogether. ManyChat is one of the best ways to automate your lead generation. But the problem is, is when agents are just starting to get a hold of social media and they integrate ManyChat, it adds a layer of complexity that most of them just simply can't handle at that point in time. ManyChat is something that you should introduce at a later date after you've become proficient at running ads, you've got your pages dialed in, you've used my checklist, you've downloaded my social media guides, you've followed the processes, and you've got a grip on the foundation of every platform, that's when you can start to introduce many chat to your business and start to automate some of your lead generation. But as a new agent that's just looking to build a foundation on social media, I strongly advise of adding too many layers of complexity because you're gonna get overwhelmed, you're gonna feel like you're lost and you won't end up taking any action. So if you have any other questions about leveraging social media, just comment below and I'll gladly respond to every single comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and supporting my channel. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and we will see you next time.